there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part, we took on the whole Route 3, we got all the trainers and stuff. And we get a lot of experience, I think, uh, yeah, um, Giant Green evolved too into Ivysaur, because he was level 16. I think, um, both of my Pokemon are level 16, excluding Moneymaker. Airbender and G Giant Green are level 16, okay, cool. So here's Mount Moon, it'll probably take me two points to, um, as I was saying, it probably took me two parts to get through this because I don't want it to be like one long video. That's probably what's going to happen. That Geodude was level 8 and it was female, so that's the wild encounter if you're wondering. <laughs> but I cut it out, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, suspicious um, men are in the cave. What about you? Are you talking about Team Rocket Guns by any chance? Whew. They're suspicious already. You know, this is our first... Um, well, I kind of already know that Team Rocket Grunts are going to be in here, but if you're first time playing, you know, it's kind of a surprise if you don't know. <laughs> so I kind of just spoiled it for you, so sorry if it's your first time playing. And you're watching this walkthrough guide. And, uh, I just spoiled it for you. Dang it, man, I feel bad now. That Weedle should be a Beedrill because it evolves at level 10. It evolves at level 7 in Nikakuna and then at level 10 into Beedrill. But not be pressed to be button a couple times. Well, more than a couple times, like maybe three or so. Four, even, probably. I don't want to do the math right now, actually, yeah. Let's see, at level seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so at least five times, actually. If my math is correct. He's a cocoon level eleven. It should still be Vigil, but yeah. Okay, it's survived by the skin of its teeth as the, you know, uh, as the commentator. In um, Pokemon Stadium, would say. <laughs> nice. Guna's down. Awesome. Now Airbrand is level 17. Yay. And then, then we beat we beat Buckcatcher Kent. Cool. You got me. Thanks for the dollar 32 cents, man. Okay, here's an item up here. I think it's a potion or something. No, it's a Peralta. I was off. Okay, whatever. Dang it. That was a Zubat level 10. I think over here is TM09 Boltsy. That was another Zubat level, uh, this, but this time it was level 8. Uh, TM09 Boltsy is right here, so that's pretty cool. Now, I might want to put on a repel, honestly. So I'll do that, yeah. Okay, cool. So here's um, another last. I think she has a go fairy actually, which is pretty cool. Uh, what I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Let's hope your friends show up though. They hope they didn't like ditch you or anything or boo you off or anything like that. So, yeah, so go fairy level 14. I was right, cool. She's guest on this thing. Just growl, okay. A couple more. It's gonna take a little bit more than just. One gust to paint this thing, I guess. So yeah, let's use Encore on us, okay. Encore makes you locked in the move you just used, so. Airbender is locked in using Gust. Yeah, uh, Sing Miss, good, that's good. Here we go, there goes Kafari. Okay, we feel last Iris. I lost. We got the two. We got two hundred twenty dollars and forty-four cents. There we go. It's tongue-tied there for a second. <laughs> okay, let's go down this ladder, I guess. Ooh, Mount Moon, yay! Here's um, Team Rocket Grunt. I'm gonna switch to Giant Green though. Oh, he saw me. Oh no. We Team Rocket are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. Okay, let's t I'll take you on in a Pokemon battle. Let's see how strong you are. Sandshrew, yeah, sure. okay, cool. Choose Vine Whip on this thing. Use Rata or Sent out Rata, okay. It's fine by me. It's just another vine with one thing. Awesome one KO. Nice. And then you have a Zupa. Okay. Let's switch to um Airbender though. Uh 
Let's use guest on this thing. Get supersonic on us. Oh no. Now everyone is confused. No. It's a 50 50 chance. A 50 50. You know, pr chance to, like it's 50 percent that's gonna hit itself in confusion and 50 percent is not going to an attack but we got the unlucky side of it that time our vendor's still confused cool use quick attack that time nice good good quote i'll take it ren is almost level 18 i love 18 if i wasn't a uh, pidgeotto <laughs> i blew it thanks for 50 dollars 50 cents man you may have bought it, but you gave me money because I won. <laughs> cool. I think here is a um, star piece or something. Star dust. Star piece. Okay, cool. You can sell that Pokemon for a lot of money. Cool. Okay, I'm going to switch back to Airbender. Oh, well, depending on, I think the next Pokemon battle we're going to have is with the scientist that has like a Magmite or something. So I might have to switch back to giant green but we'll see let's make our way back up there though oh yeah we can just take on this bug catcher first cool you need to get through uh, this cave to get to Sewing city yes i know that i know that i played this game before bug catcher robbie you don't need to tell me twice you don't even have to tell me once <laughs> Let's use quick, oh, let's use, um, Gust on this thing. I want to say quick attack, but I want my Gust. There we go, nice. Our bender's in the level 18, yay, it evolved out of this battle, awesome. Metapod, okay, let's stay in, actually. She's Gust on this Metapod. There we go, nice. And then let's switch over to um, Giant Grief for this Caterpie then. Just tackle on this thing. Ooh, good quite nice. I'll take it. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention about critical hits is that um, if you get a critical hit, it'll, it'll ignore any stat changes. Like if it raises, if your opponent's Pokemon raised its defense, or, or um, lowered your attack per se, per se, and um, it'll just ignore that, and it'll be a really big attack. It'll do more damage, of course. That's really nice. And critical hits are really nice. Almost, you know, that like your enemy is getting critical hits on your on your Pokemon, which is not good. Because, um, it's, like, it's all kind of based on luck, too, kind of. So, yeah. I lost. Thanks for the dollar 20 cents, man. Really appreciate it. What, Airbender is evolving? Yes, Airbender is evolving in a Pidgeotto. It's my second Pokemon to evolve in this project. Nice. There we go. There's a Pidgeotto. Awesome, congratulations, you're a bender involved in the Pidgeotto. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna put um giant green up at the front though. Let's take on the scientist. I think yeah, he has a magnemite. And magnemite in this game is steel and electric. So yeah, what what don't sneak up on me? You saw me and I didn't sneak up behind you. You silly goose. Oh it's not a scientist, it's a super nerd, my bad. Javon. <laughs> That Magnemite. Okay, cool. Now, since I don't have a Pokemon that's really good against Steel or Electric right now, I'm gonna have to just find what. It's not gonna be very effective, but um, it'll do some damage like that. That's cool. Metal Sound. Okay, does a lot of my does a lot of Giant Green's defense, special defense, harsh fill. Dang it! Dang it, you Magnemite. <laughs> one more Mag. One more. Um, I almost said one more Magnemite. One more Vine Whip should do it, but it could survive still. Okay, good. It fainted. Nice. Let's bring up a bunch of Voltorb. I'll stay in with Giant Green. Be in charging power. Okay, cool. She's a vinyl then.
Her Pokemon won't do. Thanks for the two dollars sixty four cents. Don't be so hard on yourself though. It's okay. Found the potion, yay. Found a rare candy, nice. Pellows effect off, okay. Find an escape rope, nice. Let's talk to you. Hey, I'm uh, ex excavating um, for fossils around here under Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock of the Peter Gym lends me a hand. That's pretty cool. Is there a train up here? I don't think there was. Okay. So, um, yeah, this last has like Oddish and um, Bellsprout. Now, Oddish is exclusive to Pokemon Fire Red, and Bellsprout is exclusive to Pokemon Leaf Green. So, just it's good for your Pokedex, I guess. So, that's good. Let's take her on. Wow, it's, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Yeah, Mount Moon's a big place, you know? It's a big place. Last Miriam, I guess, sent the Oddish, okay. We guess see Airbender's awesome back sprite. And uh, by the way, I, uh, you know, Giant Green's back sprite looks pretty cool too. As an eye absorber. Nice. There we go, nice. Real sprite, okay. There we go, we took out the bell sprout too. Nice. Oh, I lost it. Thanks for the dollar for 76 cents. Again, don't be hard on yourself like I told the last guy. It's okay. I'll keep, um, I bet to the front, I guess. Did you come to explore the cave too? Yes, I have actually. Cool. Youngster Josh sent that route. Cool. Which is Gus on this thing. He's quick hit up, okay to go first. It's pretty cool. Guess I'm at Rata, okay. Hopefully this Rata goes down. Nice. See about okay, I'll stay in the with Airbender, I guess. Is yeah, see bet. Cool. Ready for the youngster Josh. Awesome. Losing stinks. It's so uncool. Sorry, man. <laughs> Thanks for the dollar for sixty cents though. Oh, let's go down this ladder actually. Yeah, here's a rocket grunt. Let's take him on. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. No, I will not get lost. I know my run my moon, so I will reassure you. I won't get lost, man. You gotta send out Zubat. Okay, level 11. Nice. Let's use Gust on this thing. Let's send out Ekans. Okay. Let's switch over to Giant Green. Use intimidate. Dang it. Or its ability is intimidate, really. Just gets poison sting on us. Okay. Just tackle this thing. It's gonna use weird to lower giant green's defense stat by one. There we go, nice. And now giant green's level 18, awesome. It learns Razor with a level 22, I believe, so that's pretty cool. So you are good. Yes, I am very good. <laughs> Thanks for the $3.50, man. I think this is an ether right here. Yeah, there is. Alright, cool. Pels are to off. Let's use another Pell then. I 
There's actually a Pokemon I want to catch, so maybe using that repel was a bad idea. There's two Pokemon I want to catch in this, um, Mount Moon, but you know. I'm gonna have to wait till the Pokemon is off or something, you know. Let's see here, I think, um, yeah, I'm gonna switch to Giant Green because this is a hiker dude. Yeah. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. I'm a kid that has a lot of potential, man. I'm gonna be the Pokemon League champ one day. Hiker Marcus. Sent out Geodude. Okay, cool. Jeez, Vine up on this thing. I don't like how Vine up just has 10 PP, though. But that's okay. It's whatever. Guess I don't know Geodude. There we go. Yeah, so now Onyx, which is pretty cool. Whoa, shocked again. Thanks for three dollars sixty cents, man. Here's a moonstone very worth picking up. It's an evolutionary stone. Right here. Um, let's see, right here is, um... Yeah, okay, let's get this power off, okay. I'm trying to find a Pokemon in here, actually, actually two, like I said before. Here's a revive, it'll revive a fainted Pokemon by, and uh, restore half of its speed when she gets revived. That wasn't the Pokemon I'm looking for, jeez. Might have to go back into the little, uh, this area right here, actually, for one of them. But that's okay. I'm looking for a Kofiri, and I'm also looking for a Parasect, too. Or Paris, I mean. Parasect is the evolved form of Paris. So let's see if I can find it. Okay, here's a Paris, which is pretty cool. Um, let's just Leech Seed on this thing, I guess. Doesn't affect Paris. Of course it doesn't. Dang it. Okay. And I think attack will have fainted though, but let's see. Oh no, well, cool. Yes, it's attack my scared. Let's use a Pokemon now before it lands a good status conditioning move on me. Oh not my Pokemon, I should say. Let's go Pokeball. One, two, three, click. Nice, awesome. Paris was caught, yay. Paris' data was out of the Pokedex. See, it's number 46 in the Pokedex, Paris, the mushroom Pokemon. Its height is 1 foot, it weighs 11.9 pounds. Its footprint looks very small. I don't, well, it's not really a shape, but um, it's kind of shape, but uh, uh, it's just a small shape actually. Burrows to suck tree roots. The mushrooms on its back grow by drawing nutrients from the bug host. Okay, cool. Give it a name to Paris. I'm just gonna name this Paris Mushroom, I guess. It's very, it's very, you know, creative nickname, I know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not really. It's not a very creative nickname. Mushroom. Yeah, there we go. Let's actually switch Many Maker and Mushroom, actually. Let's take the tiny mushroom that it has. So, yeah. Okay, so, Bashful Nature, Meta Moon, level 7. It's Cryo, it sounds like a legendary Pokemon, honestly. Like, if you listen to it again. Doesn't that sound like a legendary Pokemon Cry? It's Bug and Grass type, of course. Its attack is 16, its defense is 14, its special attack is 12, special defense is 12, speed is 10, effect spore loops spores on content, on contact. Which means, like, if it hits with, like, a physical attack, sometimes it'll put it, the Pokemon to sleep. So yeah, no, it's Scratch and Sun Spore. Cool. Now I'm trying to find a Clefairy too. So, um, I think it's actually... As I said, it's gonna be down here. I'm, I should put another pill on though. Oh, no. If I put a pill on, it'll pill. Uh, Clefairy's honestly, jeez. Okay, so here we are right here. Let's see if I can run into Clefairy real quick. Okay, I finally found a Clefairy. Nice. Level 10, female. Okay, good. Let's hope we don't mess this thing up, you know? Or mess up on catching this. Cute charm, okay. Which is ability, okay. Nice. It's gonna sing on us. I don't have, I don't have an awakening. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> wow. 
Okay, so let's just tackle again, but you know, Giant Green's asleep, so we'll see what happens. It's already, yeah, Giant Green's already asleep. Yeah, this might. Let's just grow on us, okay. Let's just tackle again. You know, when Giant Green does wake up, it'll actually just tackle. When it wakes up, it still just its move you select, so that's nice. So let's hopefully, Giant Green will hopefully wake up soon, you know, that'd be nice. Well, cool, it woke up nice. Well, with Walker Fairy, use tackle, okay, cool. Encore, okay. Cool. So, one with Walker Fairy. Use tackle, okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna use the Pokeball now. Hopefully, it'll catch it, but I don't wanna risk getting like a Crook or something, you know? There we go. One. Oh no. Okay. Dang it, I put this up again. Dang it. Okay, fine. I might I might want to use um sweet powder on it then. That's actually a good idea. It's gonna use oh, I'm stuck in an encore though. Shoot. Hopefully the encore will end soon actually. Maybe after like five turns it will end. Okay, or maybe it'll end right there. Nice sleep powder then. Let's put you to sleep for once, Kofari, if we can get giant giant green to wake up, you know. Okay. Now sleep power doesn't have the best accuracy though, so let's hope for the best. But we have to first wake up giant green first. He has to wake up on his own, I guess. Sweet powder woke up, yay. So up with Walker Fairy. Oh yeah, we have to deal with the cute charm too. Nice, okay, put it to sleep, nice. Okay, let's use another Pokeball. Okay, let's hope for the best right this time. One, two, three. Click! Yay, we caught it. Clefairy was caught. Nice. Okay, yeah, Clefairy's did was added to the Pokedex. Okay, so Clefairy's number 35 in the Pokedex. Clefairy is the name, of course, of fairy Pokemon. Its height is 2 feet. It's 2 feet tall. Its weight is 16.5 pounds. Its um, footprint kind of looks like a crayon, honestly, or like a candle. I don't know why. <laughs> it just looks like that to me. With its magical and cute appeal, it has many admirers. It is rare and found only in certain areas, like Mount Moon, for example. Yeah. Give a nickname to Clefairy? Yes. I actually want to name this uh, Clefairy Treble Clef, because I thought it was a cool nickname. Because Clef is like short for Clefairy and Clefable. Treble Clef. It's going to take every spot, it's every character in the name, though. That's given, you know. Treble Clef. Yeah, there we go. So here is Triple Cuff's summary. Switch the two. I mean, switch Moneymaker and Mushroom again. Switch your to the front, actually. And switch Airbender and Giant, Giant Green. Okay, summary. Um, it's the relaxed nature meta at level 10, one multi Pokemon, of course. Attack is 14, defense is 17, special attack is 18, special defense is 8, 19, speed is 10. Its uh, ability is cute charm and infatuates infatuates on contact, which makes uh, have a chance for the Pokemon to be immobilized by love, which is awesome, it's female. And knows pound, growl, on coin sing. Okay. So yeah. I'm gonna actually use an escape rope here because I'm gonna split the um cut the part right here. I'm gonna end the part right here, I should say. So let's use an escape rope. There we go. Use. Use an escape rope. Cool. I'm gonna heal up the Pokemon Center off screen. And I'm gonna meet you guys back and I'm gonna start the next part where I was at with the team rocket going nearby and stuff and where that revive was basically. So let's spend that on my Pokemon Leaf Green Walk the Guy party. The next part will do just that. We'll finish up Mount Moon. So yeah, so this is my giant girl again. I'm back to the again. Goodbye. And I hope to see you guys next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walkthrough Guide.